What is good YouTube lizards here? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we embark on a journey. We embark on a journey because today follows the first ever film review I am doing on this channel, which is uh, important. Um, now I did mention in one of my previous videos that if I were going to do this, that it isn't going to be fantastic. It's, uh, it's my first one, but uh, like I said, we will give it our best shot. That's all we can do. We will give it our best shot, and then as we do more of these reviews, it's going to slowly increase in the um, in the quality. You know, that's for starters. So this is the first one. You see how it goes, and uh, but yeah, let's get on to let's get on to what we're reviewing. We are reviewing Tennis. Eventually, Tennis. I watched it two weeks ago, and we're doing a review now. Awesome. So before we get into this review, we got to hit that intro. So. Hit it. Now this is going to be more of a casual review. I'm going to break it down into, you know, categories and just simply talk about it. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. Um, okay, so first off is the storyline. Tenet follows a secret agent played by John David Washington. For people who don't know, John David Washington is the son of Denzel Washington. John David Washington embarks on a dangerous, time-bending mission to prevent the start of World War III. So, if you're explaining this film to a friend, that's the best description you can give. Don't go into details with the movie because you're gonna confuse the hell out of them. And you don't wanna scare them away from watching the film. You want them to watch it. So use that description when you're explaining it to a buddy, okay? Um, because you don't want to you don't want to frighten them. Um, okay, so first off, let's talk about the film. Let's talk about the storyline. Okay, is it good? Is it bad? Is it intriguing? Is it confusing? Now, my one problem with this film is you have to be focused. I'm I'm a, I'm a focused guy, so it didn't bother me. But other people you know, who want to watch it, you have to be focused. Don't go on your phone, don't fall asleep, don't talk to your friend next to you, okay? Don't stare at the chair in front of you. Watch the film, listen to the dialogue, because the first act of the film, it's important. It's important. If you want to follow the rest of the film, you got to pay attention to the beginning, okay? Now, the film opened up with a powerful, powerful score by Ludwig Göransson, and the, the beautiful scene where they're ambushing the 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 room you know that was amazing um but that that score i was kind of more i was kind of more frightened by the score you know kind of paying attention to the score than the actual scene but um that score was just beautiful phenomenal and the the score all the way through was just amazing but we'll get onto the score later we're on about the story now um so yeah first things first pay attention focus listen to the dialogue because there's a lot of dialogue at the beginning and uh, just pay attention bro and then and then as it goes on, if you pay attention to the first act, the rest of the story will make sense to you. It will make sense to you. Um, you know, why they're doing this, how they're doing that, you know, it'll make sense. So my piece of advice, just, uh, just pay attention to the beginning and you'll understand the story. Now, let's get on to the acting. John David Washington, Robert Pattinson, Kenneth Branagh, Elizabeth Debicki, Michael Caine. Now, John David Washington, and Robert Pattinson were perfect for the two leading roles. I couldn't have picked better. <laughs> and it's hard to imagine two other actors in their places. Now, Robert Pattinson is on fire lately. I just watched um, Devil All The Time. He's playing the upcoming Batman. Bro, he's doing well for himself. Same with John David Washington. You know, he came off the boat from um, Black Klansman there recently. And he's in this huge, big budgeted Christopher Nolan film. So. Fair play to him, and he's going to have a lovely filmography after this film. But if I were to pick one actor that stood out the most, I would probably pick Kenneth Branagh. He literally frightened me all the way through the film, and um, his Russian accent makes it that much better. Definitely one of his best roles in recent years. And then Michael Caine. Michael Caine didn't have much in the film, which was a bit disappointing, but it's good to see a Michael Caine cameo, you know? So let's get on to the directing. Now, one thing to note with 
Christopher Nolan's directing is that he did not use CGI. He did not use visual effects. What he wanted to do, what his vision was, he wanted to do it all original. He didn't want any of that fake stuff. So, um, you know, for example, the plane, they actually crashed the real plane, the explosions, they were all made for the film. None of it was VFX, which is brilliant. I love that. You know, going back to that original style filmmaking, um, awesome. I'm glad they didn't go for the CGI effect because it would look tacky. It would look tacky and it kind of gives away from the film. The fighting scenes next. The fighting scenes, imagine directing the fighting scenes. You know, one character going back in time, the other character in time. It's, uh, that would have been a bit tricky, but he, he managed to do that well. So, uh, well done, Christopher Nolan, well done. Um, but no, in general, the directing was fantastic by him and, uh, and he could get an Oscar nominee this coming March for the 2021 Academy Awards, hopefully. Now, next we are going to talk about score and cinematography. The score was absolutely phenomenal. As you already know by now, I'm a big fan of the score. I've done reactions on it and, um, the best thing about the score is that it fits so well to what's going on in the film. Like one of my favorite scenes in the film was the trucks in place and the, the, the soundtrack that was accompanied with that scene just went so perfectly, you know? And when you think back to that scene, you remember the music so vividly. And that's what's important with score. If the score can fit perfect with the scene, then it's a great film. Now, the cinematography. The cinematography, like the directing, must have been tricky. You have to get all the right angles. You have to make things look realistic. You know, filming backwards in time and then filming in present time. They had to do two different takes, so it would have taken nearly double the time. But did it pay off? It paid off completely because the cinematography couldn't have been better. He should get an Oscar nominee for cinematography. So yeah, let's talk about our general thoughts before we sum this up. Film was great. Like I said, you have to pay attention at the beginning and you have to pay attention to, like, basically you have to pay attention to the whole film. That's my only downside, um, is that there's a lot to comprehend and a lot to understand. So pay attention and you'll be fine. Now, that's my only, that's my only con. The rest were pros, acting, directing, music, cinematography, production design. Everything was amazing. Everything, no faults, except that one with the, with the focusing of the mind. But that's it. Lastly, we're just going to give our Academy nominee predictions. You know, you might get acting, you might get directing, you might get cinematography, production design, directing. Tenet might get six or seven nominees, and if they get more than that, terrific. Terrific. I'll be happy with that. But I say six or seven nominees. And I would give the film a rating. I would give the film an eight out of ten. And that is good for me, you know, because I'm a tough critic. So eight out of ten is uh, a good score. I would thoroughly enjoy watching this film again. When it comes out on Blu-ray or DVD or streaming services soon, I'm definitely going to watch it again, um, without a doubt. But that sums up my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Like that, it was my first, so I'm not too sure how this is going to go for future reviews. But if you like it, don't forget to comment down below. Give me some feedback, because feedback is appreciated, always. But yeah, I think I'm going to sum it up there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.